help you figure out what's really bugging you when it comes to food. Is it food allergies or intolerance? Hmm, we're gonna find out. That's all coming up right now on Sonoran Living. Well, fall is here and with it comes seasonal food and of course all the parties and chances are your body may go into a bit of food shock. Sherry Torcos is a holistic pharmacist and is here with some great advice on how you can enjoy your favorite foods without suffering. But Sherry, you kind of have to know what's really causing the problem to begin with, right? That's right, because food allergies and food intolerances are so common today. Almost everybody you talk to has an issue with something, whether it's eggs or dairy or gluten. Those are very commonly known food issues, but histamine intolerance is something that isn't as well understood is our allergies and intolerance the same thing? They're though? different actually. So an okay. allergy occurs when your immune system rea reacts inappropriately to a substance in a food such as shellfish, eggs, dairy, and you get a big reaction. Your immune system is basically reacting inappropriately. Okay. And intolerance occurs when your body can't break down a certain food. So think about lactose intolerance. Mm. Your body can't break down that sugar. It's because you don't have enough of an enzyme called lactase. Okay. Okay, so with histamine intolerance, and sadly, histamine is found in all of these foods here. This is party food right I here. I know, a prime wine party and food. Cheese and, oh yeah, wine, beer, fermented fr uh, vegetables, also uh, think about aged meats, cheeses, pickles, coffee, nuts, even healthy things like yogurt and citrus fruit. These foods are all high in histamine, and if your body cannot break down histamine, most likely it's because you don't have enough of an enzyme called DAO or dianine oxidase. Okay. So if you don't have enough of this enzyme DAO, your body can't break down histamine and the symptoms can be horrible. You can have headache, hives, flushing, nausea, upset stomach, so, runny nose. So those are some of the symptoms you would experience um, as, as, as because of the histamine. That's right. You get different symptoms, but some are similar with allergies and intolerance yes. too. So how do you know? Exactly. The, the symptoms can be very similar with allergies and that's why it's important to get to the underlying cause of what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's difficult to avoid all your favorite foods, but there is a survey that you you can do online to determine whether or not you have a DAO deficiency. Oh, okay. So you can check that out about DAO deficiency. And you can also talk to a, a healthcare provider, meet with a doctor, dietitian. You can have some blood work done because it, it is important to know what's happening in your body. And I will say 70% of cases of histamine intolerance are due to a deficiency of this enzyme. And until recent years, it was only available, the so enzymes in Europe. But it sounds like an easy fix, right? It's an All easy you have fix. to do is increase your uh, DAO. DAO. Yes. So okay. the chemical okay. name is diamine oxidase. So you take it about 15 to 20 minutes before. It helps your body break down that histamine. And it's not something you have to take every day or regularly throughout the day, only when you're eating high histamine foods. All right, what about these supplements? Okay. Do these help? They can help as well by helping your body to break down histamine, helping to increase DAO. You have probiotics, vitamin C and B6. And then also certain foods, if you add these fall foods to your diet, they can also help if you suspect you have a histamine intolerance. Pomegranate's a great source of antioxidants, also help to reduce inflammation. Onions, they contain an antihistamine called quercetin. They can wow. be helpful. Olive oil can actually boost your body's natural production of DAO by about 500%. So That's significantly, <laughs> you have to consume it every day. And chicken as well has oleic acid, same as what you find in olive oil. So if you add these foods to your diet, it can also help to ease the symptoms of a histamine intolerance. But again, this okay. is so common, so many people don't even realize they have it. Yeah. If you have celiac disease, Crohn's, colitis, irritable bowel, you're at a greater likelihood of having a DAO ah, deficiency. Okay. Plus, when we get older, beyond age 30, we stop producing enough of this enzyme, and it makes having that glass of wine a little bit harder. Everything <laughs> happens beyond it age does. 30. Things Sherry, change. <laughs> thank you so much. Really good information. Thank Obviously you. important to keep track and make sure you talk to your health care professional. That's of course, right. we have all of our information to Sherry's website on ours, sonoranliving.com.